Thank you, Chairman Grijalva and Ranking Member Bishop for those warm welcoming remarks. And I want to thank the members of the committee for being here as well and inviting me to testify on the approach that Massachusetts has taken to deal with the very real challenge associated with climate change. In Massachusetts, climate change is not a partisan issue. While we sometimes disagree on specific policies, we understand the science and know the impacts are real because we're experiencing them firsthand. The magnitude of the impacts from climate change requires all of us at the federal, state, and local levels to work together. That's the path we've taken in Massachusetts. Based on our experience in Massachusetts, I'd like to share four themes that I believe will help further reduce greenhouse gas emissions and increase resiliency across the country. First, states and local communities need support from the federal government. Many federal initiatives are only available after a disaster occurs. Incentives similar to our MVP program would help communities address resiliency issues before the next disaster. Expanding programs like FEMA's new resilient infrastructure grants and increasing funding to available to states would accelerate existing efforts and galvanize new ones. We need strong federal leadership and a bipartisan vision on climate change that prioritizes practical, market-driven, and cost-effective solutions while affording states the flexibility to design strategies that work for their unique challenges. We believe it's essential for the federal government to create a target with respect to emission reductions that can vary by state or region. In our state's experience, setting an aggressive target for reducing greenhouse gas emissions provides the foundation for clean energy policy, sends a clear message to industry, and enables long-range planning. Third, strong federal leadership should also include making impactful investments in research around both emission reductions and climate change adaptation. Federal research and development gave us the internet and GPS, technology that changed our lives forever. I believe the federal government could bring its resources to bear on developing the next breakthrough battery cell or other technological advances that could help dramatically reduce emissions and radically transform our energy future. Fourth, the federal government should incorporate climate risk and resilience in future federal spending and planning decisions to ensure taxpayer dollars are used wisely. Our own Boston Harbor Islands, managed through a partnership between state and federal government and a nonprofit, were already threatened by rising sea levels and storm surges. Governors around the country are serving, seeing and responding to the effects of climate change in our states and communities. This is not a challenge any one of us can solve alone. We need collective action from federal, state, and local governments working with the private sector to aggressively reduce our greenhouse gas emissions and adapt to the changes that are already in motion. I want to thank this committee for the invitation to speak, and I thank my colleague, Governor Cooper, uh, for joining me here today. We've submitted written testimony, which goes into more detail than my oral remarks, and I look forward to working together on this challenge, and I'm pleased to answer any questions from the committee.